Num 2019, I hear with Tobias from Teenage Engineering and we saw the last days that Teenage Engineering is going modular. Indeed, how, yeah. how, how does it come that you now decide to go, you have always these pocket operators, you have also small gadgets that say where, on the road and now you go modular, so it's there. You say, I want to go for modular or how well, comes the idea? Well, I mean, uh, we love to explore new things for us and um, we made synthesizers, we made handheld sequencers. We have not before gone into modular stuff, but uh, we love it. So let's just try to make our touch on it. And uh, thus the, uh, the Pocket Operator modular series. So we uh, decided to go with three different kits. Um, the Sorry, let's see here. The 16, which is a, a keyboard module, mm -hmm. uh, standalone uh, sequencer and keyboard. So it's usable um, with any other device? Yes, or, correctly. And it uses uh, standard CV? Or yes, correct. Does it, um, because modular has different voltages and different, uh, how do you manage this? Is this now, um, it works with any modular? It does. I mean, you have to set the the tracking so that it, it's compatible with okay. your system but and it's this is also battery powered okay so we can we can uh, uh, it's it's standard CV gate but it's uh, yeah you'll have to, to tweak it to your liking and it works only with CV or CV and gate yeah yes correct so no USB or no it's just very raw bare bones uh, analog analog yeah and you have 16 <coughs> steps, or what? Uh, yeah, this is a 32 step actually, uh, but it's uh, it's a keyboard with individual uh, uh, pitch mm -hmm. for per key um, tempo. You can clock clock it externally or use the internal clock. And it's a um, keyboard also. Or? Yeah, it's a membrane keyboard here. So you does it have something uh, aftertouch or? And uh, no, uh, it's just on off. On off. Okay. Yeah. And this will be um, available already? This is available from our website. Uh, only from our website so far. All these uh, three kits and uh, we sell them direct. The yeah, so it's 149 okay. uh, for the 16. The seven, uh, 170 is uh, 349. And this is uh, a red one, yeah. Exactly, this is the red beauty. So it includes the 16. Mm -hmm and also some of the basic modules uh, to get you started with the... How easy is it now if you, if a uh, person is now really not in DIY and how, uh, how you manage this or is it, um, is it really idiot security? Yes, or? it's, it's uh, dummy proof. Even I could do it. And we made a, a nice manual for you to Mm -hmm. to know how to fold it up. It's, it's metal, it's sheet metal, so it's very sturdy. And so it's uh, an experience, I think. You will want to sell an, not only a music instrument, but also an experience. Exactly, it's like a, 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 a near sound experience. Mm -hmm. So you get, really, you get it in a flat pack, being we are from Sweden, after all. Mm -hmm. um, so you have to uh, unpack it and assemble it, assemble it yourself. And that way you will really get uh, a personal experience with your unit. I found it funny to see many comments on the web. IKEA makes no sense. And it's it's, bit, it's like a bit this direction that people build their own sins and then put them together and then yes. something to the result. And I mean, uh, they might even know it, but we're turning them into engineers just by uh, doing this. So it's. Uh, it's it, for me. I built this system uh, personally today, so this is the first system I built, and I really wanted to have the experience uh, that you guys will have when you pick this up. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's uh, it's like you said. It's more than a synthesizer. It, it's uh, it, you know the building experience mm -hmm. adds to the, the the value of it. And uh, it's made of um... <clears throat> What material? It's it's metal. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what material, but it's it's uh, like thin sheet metal, mm -hmm. um, where you um, where you build where you fold it up and mm -hmm. screw it together. 
and then you mount it. Let's see if we have separate modules. So Currently we don't have any separate modules, but then... How much time do you account for uh, if you... I say not a prof, not a profi, and not an amateur. Yeah, sure. Basic, yeah. So I'd say today we were some people help helping out, and we did it in like uh, an hour, an hour and a half. Um, so it's it's uh, <laughs> it's a process, but it's uh, you know something fun for the whole family. Uh, no, it's it's uh, if you're experienced, you could do it in an hour. Maybe I'm I'm gonna build more and, and see what the 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 medium time is but it's uh it's definitely some work definitely so uh enjoy it um and then when you patch your first oscillator to the speaker or the mixer and, and you know when you actually make it make it sound then it's a uh, for me um uh, almost a spiritual experience i you know i'm very passionate about machines and, and music technology, so... Uh, it's that you bring these feelings of Lego to the music. And, and you're, you're even more right than you may realize, because these are Lego compatible uh, knobs. So with the technique. With yeah, Lego exactly, technique. yes. Uh, so... Uh, um, yeah, you can... You can Let's see what people will do with these Lego knobs. But you can, you know, customize them if you want to. Um, so take, uh, theoretically, you can uh, put a Lego robotic on it and then make them... Uh, exactly. The, add the automation. Add the <laughs> Mindstorms uh, component to it. Yeah, you can do that. Um, and I mean, this, this system that we... Or these systems are just our first um, our first uh, kits basically. Mm -hmm. So they come with each individual module and you put them together in this suggested format. But in the future you'll be able to pick up just, uh, so just the basic modules. So it's just the beginning with your model. Oh yes. So what we see now is... It's our first baby steps some, into... Some, uh, some percentage of the, what you plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, like like we talked about it before. We love to explore different different things, different angles, uh, different products, uh, and we have thousands of, of uh, ideas all the time. And uh, we we like to test stuff in the office. And if we like it, then we make it into a product. This has been developed very short. Uh, it's been a very short development time. So it's uh, almost a record for us. So we wanted to get something out and then we'll build from that and uh, improve Ground it as we go. And then you get even more, maybe more complex stuff. And exactly. I mean, we, we, gotta, we all got to start somewhere. So but, it's... But we, because I expected something like digital modular, mm -hmm. but it is now a true analog signal path through it. Yes, it is. Pure so, analog. And uh, what we get here now on this format is uh, which modules or... Right, yeah, so this is quite a wild patch. Uh, let's just see what happens. Right now I think it's, uh, it's uh, sequenced by the... There's, there's a sequencer module here that's, we're, that we're waiting for. So this will arrive soon. But so currently we are syncing it and uh, sequencing it from the... from the op lab here. No, sorry, from the OPZ and using the, the op lab module. And its outputs. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have just changed the patch because we have uh, interest to see more uh, sound possibilities with the pocket operator modular. And uh, so what we have now made? Yeah, it's just a, a simple patch to to listen more to the pure oscillators. Uh, <laughs> So what people loving beep and blobs? Yeah, maybe, or just uh, kind of get a feel for the range of, of, of sounds. But what I see now on this uh, unit, yeah. it's also a learning uh, 
a learning modular unit. Yes, I mean you could really use this for for teaching modular stuff because it's it's a set system, uh, and uh, so if if you want to teach how something works, then this could be a good system for you. This is, this is an idea if you maybe to uh, yeah, I mean, we, we do already work with schools. Um, we have a, a program called the Teenage Engineering Electronic Music School, uh, where we do free workshops and we work with uh, educational institutions. Um, and uh, so this, we already have got some, some requests for this system, so we can see what... Uh, Let's uh, talk a bit more about the modules. You have the square wave sign. Yeah. Um, is it? Um, it was a specific approach, or uh, to making these modules individually, like square saw and sign, and not putting them in one module, or is it was it just a design thing? Uh, I was actually not part of the development of this, um, so I don't know the concept behind why we normally wanted... on the modular side you have one, uh, sure. one oscillator with but all different sine waves, yeah, uh, uh, different waveforms. Now we, here you have them set square, saw, sign, individual in, in modules. Yes, exactly. I mean, we, we're not used we're not known for being traditional, but in this sense we want to be uh, very basic, very simple, because uh, this is a, a, a system that is uh, designed for anybody, but especially for beginners or for people who want a clear, uh, clear uh, layout. But from the uh, from the sound wise, you took more vintage, you think, or more uh, more mod modern analog sound. Uh, I don't know the the full range of this yet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and like I said, I wasn't part of the development. Okay. But um, uh, it's it's more a, a you know a traditional um, modular synth. Yeah. And so you have square saw sign, then a mixer, mm -hmm. and then a filter, and this. A it's a low pass a filter. filter. Yeah, okay. exactly. With resonance and, and some control inputs. So there's always I think space maybe for later that you bring in high pass or so that's a story. So yeah, I guess. I mean, uh, with this system, like we've actually typed filter here. So mm -hmm. if we do release another filter, that could have the same layout, and then you could swap it out in your mm -hmm. 400 system. But that's that's, um, that's just your, me speculating personally. And that, so and that's, that's not your idea then to bring more modules in future, and just that people can when you're building new uh, modules to put them inside or. Uh, or is this now, as you said before, it's, it's, this one is now not, um, you can change something on this, on the 400? Uh, no, the four, it's pretty much set. It's uh, set? Yeah. Okay. But of course you can, you can uh, make your own uh, custom uh, front, uh, or like face plates and, or do a whole front like this. Um, it's all up to you. So we, we just supply the, the basic, basic modules at a... Um, affordable price and we we haven't compromised in sound quality mm -hmm. but it's not the most extreme or most uh, complex modules so we have also I see an envelope two vcas or two envelopes yeah and sequencer yes um, it's coming it is coming very soon we have it in the office so we're trying to get it here um, okay. as soon as possible and the random generator what is nice for more uh, experimental sounds yeah Speaker is stereo or? It is actually, you can patch uh, a stereo or you both left and right and then on the output here you get a stereo signal where you can kind of pan this and, and get volume. And um, the cable system, it's, it's not Eurac, right? It's not, uh, it's not primarily a Eurac design. But I read on your website you can uh, there there are plans or you can you encourage people to transform them in um, Eurac. Well, it's it's uh, uh, we've released a PDF with the specs for the modules. Mm -hmm. um, the cables are standard cables, but uh, the modules are slightly uh, um, slightly uh, shorter than than regular three U Eurac modules. So, but you can make your own custom faceplates okay. and then mount them uh, in your your own systems. And 
in the beginning we only sell the complete kits but in the future we will sell the individual modules also. And you say and in the price the range of these uh, modules is already known or public? Well it's it's we're we're talking about it now. It's it's in the future, it's not not exactly not planned. Confirmed. But uh, we, we wanna try to keep it as low cost as possible. Excuse me. So uh, the cheapest individual modules should start at around twenty nine bucks okay. US dollars. That's then very cheap for I mean uh, I've seen some comments where people uh, maybe mistaken the prices for the individual modules, but it's for the whole system the prices that are set. And it comes in, I see here on the left side, on all these uh, nice little boxes. Yeah, this is the building session that we had uh, this morning to try to get this system together. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it comes like these with the uh, sheets, and then these are the boxes uh, for the individual kits. And then inside there are the individual okay. uh, modules. And it's already uh, shipping or? Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, sorry, no. It's available still from our website. This has been sold out mm -hmm. and we're shipping within four weeks. So four it's, weeks. Uh, we still have some left of the first batch uh, of the 16 and 170, mm -hmm. but the uh, 400 is sold out. So everything is already available or will be available very, very soon? Yeah, exactly. And in, yeah. In, the, in the open in the market on the retailers, it will be well, that's, later. That's yeah, exactly. It will be later. We uh, we have it's been very well received, so we we are working on getting it out more. Okay, mm -hmm. and so we can expect also maybe for Superbooth more stuff coming to from, from you or from the modelers. Yeah, side. sure. Yeah, that should be a fun show. So uh, it I must think. be clear here. This for the 400, this uh, 170, uh, it's only the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is also the prototype unit. So it's uh, within four weeks, we'll have the, the first final batch. But this is, um, yeah, like I said, our baby steps into this so world. It's more a journey than just a one off uh, one -off thing. Uh, yeah, we are modular, and that, that's it. Oh, so no, very much uh, just the beginning of a journey. And I mean, it's um, as we go, we think of new ideas, we learn a lot. So um, even if we have a set plan today, that might change tomorrow. But we, we have a vision at least. And, and that's something that uh, at least I'm very excited about. Okay, Tobias, yeah. thank you for your big interview here. I wish you good luck with the modular system. And hope to see you then at the Super Booth, maybe with new modules. I'm Let's looking, see. I'm looking forward okay, to it. Okay, thank Thanks. you.